What did you make of the Reserve Bank of uh, right. India's decision on Friday? What does that mean for your overall business sentiment and climate? Uh, so a couple of things. I think uh, it's important to note that um, RBI is quite clear that uh, they're going to be focused on inflation going forward. So there is clarity on that front. Uh, they're also clear that the measures that were put in place uh, a month ago to try and stabilize the currency are likely to get unwound slowly depending on market conditions. So I think both those uh, messages are quite clear. I think it's, uh, it's important to note that based on the 75 basis points reduction in the MSF rate, uh, we do expect short-term liquidity to ease and uh, the bond market activity to restart, uh, both of which are important in terms of resource raising for corporates as well as for NBFCs. So from that standpoint, it is certainly a positive. I think what took the market by surprise is an increase in the repo rate, but a 25 basis point hike uh, is okay given that inflation is sticky. Uh, I do expect that there could be another 25 basis point hike in the repo rate. As you know, the governor's indicated that he would like to bring down the margin between the uh, MSF and repo rate to 100 basis points. And so I think uh, that uh, combination will be a reduction in the, um, the short-term rates as well as uh, some hike in the repo rate going forward. Vikram, what does this mean for capital investment spending uh, at all? And how do you read the RBI's decision in the context of revival of the investment cycle? I think, uh, you know, RBI is quite clear uh, in terms of its message that its, uh, its immediate focus is to bring down inflation. And um, that, is, that is the clear focus. I think the growth um, aspects of the economy have to do with uh, a lot of things beyond just interest rates. And I think it's important for us to focus on what it takes to bring back um, investments in the country. Obviously, interest rates are relevant and important, but I think what has happened over the last couple of years has less to do, less to do with interest rates and more to do with uh, execution risks and getting more clarity from a policy and regulatory perspective in terms of being able to make investments. So as long as uh, we focus on that and get some of those aspects cleared out, I think, um, I think uh, industrial activity and uh, investment activity will, uh, will uh, restart. Uh, it's important to note that uh, the land acquisition bill that was uh, introduced recently uh, has also got a lot of people worried in terms of what it means in terms of delays and, um, and what it takes to put up an industrial project. So we'll have to see what the rules are, which are likely to come out in the next two or three weeks surrounding uh, land acquisition sure. uh, to decide on, uh, on what its ramifications are on industrial activity. How do you see things changing for funding requirements for infrastructure projects, Vikram, uh, and specifically for growth in the infrastructure sector? Could you play, put that in context for us? Yeah, so, you know, with the uh, reduction in 75 basis points in the, in the rates, in the short-term rates, I think, um, uh, as I said, um, the, uh, the cost of money, at least short-term money, has certainly come down. And uh, even if you see the, the rates on corporate bonds, uh, they have come down as well. So overall, there's a 50 to 100 basis points reduction in uh, short-term rates uh, in terms of uh, the cost of money for borrowers, uh, which is positive. I think that is certainly a positive. Also for financiers like ourselves, uh, for a period of time, there was no access to the bond market and we were therefore borrowing only from banks, which as you know, uh, can only lend at uh, rates that are higher than their base rates. So now with bond market activity restarting, although as of now it's, it's in uh, fairly small ways, we do expect uh, bond activity to pick up in the next couple of weeks. That would provide access to rates that are cheaper than bank base rates. So that would certainly help not only financiers, but also issuers in the corporate world. One final question, Vikram, uh, and this is with respect to bank licenses. We know you're in the, in the race for a banking license as well. Uh, the governor, when he took over, announced the... Uh, the Bimal Jalan committee that, can, that could be externally vetting uh, possible applicants. What have you heard since? I think the only thing that, um, that I can say is that RBI seems to be uh, committed to the timeline that has been laid out by the governor as well. And so they are very focused on trying to make sure that they do whatever it takes to try and um, you know, get some clarity on uh, licenses by January, February. And there may be a one or two licenses that actually get uh, issued in that time frame. Uh, so there is uh, enough activity at RBI and there are uh, 
questions that RBI has sent to various uh, applicants for bank licenses for additional information, etc. So there is the, the activity level surrounding bank licenses has certainly picked up.